Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 111. Inside this video, we will use log viewer composer package to see the application logs. Now for this video, we need a fresh setup. Inside that setup, we will create some logs or let's say that if you have your existing application and inside that existing application, the application consists of many types of log like alert, like error and so on. So how can we use the composer package called log viewer to see logs? So for this video, we have an article over this blogging website. So if I back to browser, scroll down. So here is the article as you can see. And if you are not able to find that article inside this landing page, inside this home page, so simply click on this blog click on this search icon and if I type let's say log viewer press enter now you will see that article here so I will click on this article link this article is totally from scratch it will guide you to implementation or adding log viewer package inside level 8 application so first of all to understand about each concept we need to install a level 8 setup so if I scroll down, so inside this section called installation of application, we will use a composer command. So I will copy this command back to terminal. Currently we are inside this folder. So I will create a setup with the name, let's say level hyphen logs, press enter. It will create a setup inside our local machine. Now successfully the project setup has been installed. So if I back to folder structure, search for level hyphen logs this is the setup what we have created so if i open this setup into my vs code editor so successfully we have imported our project setup into vs code so as it is a new application so inside this application we don't have any types of log so how can we search that if this application consists of any logs or not so for that, we need to go inside this storage folder. Here we have a logs folder and inside this logs folder, we are not able to see any file instead of this git ignore. We will see in a moment that how can we generate a log file and automatically that log file will be stored inside this logs folder. Now in the next step, we need to install the composer package that is log fever. So here is the composer command. So I will copy this command back to terminal. So first of all, we need to go inside that setup what we have installed. So CD, let's say level hyphen logs. And inside this setup, we will install this package. So press enter. So successfully we have installed the log viewer composer package inside this application. So in the next step, we need to configure this composer package to our application. So if I back to article, scroll down. So we need to go inside app.php, inside providers array, we need to add this line. So I will copy this line. Back to editor, go inside config folder, app.php and inside this app.php, you will be able to see the providers array. Inside this array, add the footer. I will add that line and one more setting we need to do go inside this .env file and inside this .env file if I back to article we need to paste log channel means log underscore channel equals to daily so I will copy go here and as you can see that by default it is stack so I will change it to something log channel equals to daily so these are the settings we have done for the package. So I will close all these files. Now next, we need to generate some scaffolding files. Scaffolding file means that after installation of log view of package, it will create a user interface. Inside that interface, it will go and present all about the error logs, means all about the types of logs inside that dashboard. So if I back to browser means article, go here. So here we have a section called generate log viewer scaffolding files. 
So inside this scaffolding files, we have we will have few layout files, CSS files, some config files, which is going to create a great UI to see all types of log inside that application. So here we have the simplest command. So I will copy, go to terminal inside this project setup. First of all, let's clear this console. And if I type this command called php artisan log hyphen viewer publish, it means we are going to publish our scaffolding files for this log viewer package. So press enter. And successfully, as we can see, that all the like our scaffolding files now generated inside these associated folders. Now we have some few more commands. If I back to article, scroll down. So here we have PHP Artisan Log Viewer Publish Force. This is generating scaffolding files forcefully. If suppose you are running this command and you are not able to run this command like you are getting some error. So inside that situation, you need to run this command to generate or publish all, sc all scaffolding files forcefully. Now next, publishing the config file only. So as you can see that when we run this command, config file means logviewer.php automatically generated. But in your case, if you will get any error in that situation, if config file, let's say, will not be published. So in that situation, you need to run this command. And here we have application requirements and log files check. So if I copy this command, go to terminal and as we know that this application is totally new so inside this setup we don't have any log file back to terminal if i paste this command press enter and as we can see that application requirements this is the ui of our log viewer package and successfully we have integrated log viewer package to inside this application now next, how can we check that it is working? So when we install this log viewer package, automatically it will create a route. So if I go here, first of all, it's a start development server. So PHP, artisan serve, press enter, development server started. So I will open this link into a new tab of browser. So after installation, now if I type log viewer, so this route will be available after installation of log viewer package. So right now dashboard is totally empty. It's because we don't have any types of log inside our application. Again, if we click on this logs tab, here we have all the entries are empty. So to test this application, we need some logs or if you have your existing application, then automatically it will track all the logs and put here. So right now this is totally new. So we need to create a log file. So back to article. So right now as we can see that we will have this empty dashboards. So how can we create a sample log? So first of all we need to import this facade. So I will copy, go here, open up our web.php because we will use a closer route. So I have imported now next we will use the log facade and these methods called emergency alert critical and if you are wondering that what are these methods so these are our log methods according to log type they log their messages so if i will copy go to editor and pasting it here after pasting these codes automatically it will create a route and here we are using a closer function it means it's a closer route so when we type means url log hyphen message that it will go and log all these types of messages so if i go here and instead of log viewer if i open a new tab and simply let's say log hyphen message and one more thing if we go inside storage logs folder right now we don't have any file so go and press enter logs will be created and here so you can see that laravel hyphen the date time value means automatically attached with the log file now when we open this file so as we can see that all the types of log now logged inside this log file inside each log 
like of the log type called emergency alert critical error we have logged the same message now this time we have some logs inside our application so if we go and click on dashboard now as you can see that we have a ui inside this ui it indicates that we have total eight entries one emergency one alert one critical one error now if i click on these logs now we can see that we have an entry date means at this date at this date value like level hyphen date and by the help of this date value it tracked the error now inside this tabular list as we can see we have total equals to 8 emergency 1 alert 1 critical 1 so if we want to see any type of error let's say error so i will click click on this counter link and here this is all about the information also if you want to download the error log simply we need to click on this download or separately we can delete that also so this is guys how can we use a log viewer composer package it's a great tool to track all the logs inside our application instead of going inside each of the log what we have inside this application automatically it will track and make a dashboard all the concepts you will get inside this article so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day